Hello my foodies, I hope you all are doing well. How about drinking a chilled beer with some friends after a really tiring day? Sounds satisfying, right? And refreshing, doesn't it? Let's go back to the time when fermented beverages started. That is in the Indus Valley civilizations near about 5000 years ago. This was the time when fermented beverages started. The term beer is applied to a beverage which is made by fermentation of barley malt or simply say from grains or other plant sources. The production of beer and some other alcoholic beverages is referred to as brewing. Coming on to the spectrum of beer, let's call it as taste spectrum, it is very wide, that is, from bitter to sour or sweet. The taste of beer primarily depends on various factors. Number one is the list of ingredients from which it is made. We all know that percentage of water in beer is quite high, so definitely it will greatly influence beer quality. Apart from water, there are various other ingredients that are used for making beer. These are hops, yeast and malt. Hops are responsible for adding bitterness to the beer, whereas yeast gives a sugary taste to beer and carries out fermentation. Coming on to malt, it is basically a germinated cereal grain that has been dried in a process known as malting. Here the grain is made to germinate by soaking in water. Malt add grainy flavor to the beer. At number 2, let us talk about temperature as it significantly affects the taste of beer. Ok now foodies, tell me have you ever thought that why does beer taste better when it is cold or even chilled? Well, beer does not always taste better when it is served cold. The appropriate temperature of beer varies based on the type of beer. Our taste buds become numb when it comes in contact with cold food items or beverages. Therefore, the colder the beer is, the less we taste it. Also, they have more of this refreshing aspect. As per brewing experts, beer temperature plays a very crucial role in determining its taste. So if we simplify this, then if one wants to experience the actual taste of beer, then they should consume all the light beers when it is chilled and all the strong beers when it is at room temperature. At number 3, we will discuss about the type of containers used, that is either glass bottles or the metal containers. Sometimes what happens, beer standing in wooden barrels will always have a different taste in comparison to the ones which are stored in metal containers. In the beer making process, various ingredients are mixed, processed and sometimes the original or actual structure of raw material also demands some alteration. There are various steps involved in the processing of beer. The journey of grain starts from the malting followed by milling, mashing, lottering, wort boiling, wort clarification, fermentation, storage, filtration and finally it is filled in the bottles. Stay tuned for part 2 because there we will discuss the types and the processing of beer in detail. <laughs>